Hello everyone very good morning and good evening welcome to the next episode of game of fire flyers and today we have with us uh, mr muni madhi now uh, uh, before i go ahead and jump my gun to muni let me quickly explain and brief you about the muni's experience so muni was having uh, when he came to us uh, during last year november Uh, he was having a, a experience in testing for six years. He was having experience in testing. Basically, he is a BSc uh, graduate, and after that, he has a six years experience in testing. He want to, and in testing, he also has some SAP experience also. But he want to join a company, and he want to work full fledged as a SAP consultant. And the sourcing and procurement, he was having exposure. So he got training with us on the sourcing and procurement mastery, and currently he is doing excellence. and he also uh, did job and mastery with us also and quickly he joined in november and by december itself he was having offers uh, he got offers for five companies including deloitte entity data hcl and two of the product companies and even for the nine interviews which he has given he was able to get till the uh, last stage of the interviews and five offers he got it and finally he joined entity data with 90% of the increment so that's quite incredible story from muni and before i speak more i would i would welcome muni 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 welcome to the game of high flyers thank you thank you so much sir don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos yeah so muni i have briefly briefly given your introduction but it would be great hearing from your side that how you have prepared for this sourcing and procurement you are looking for a job as a pure consultant and then you got a project in sap s4 hana now so how you prepared yourself and how your journey went it would be great to hear in your words thank you so much first of all for giving this great opportunity sir like where i started and again i'm standing here and i'm talking about my success with the same people So it's really a pleasure to me. Uh, it will start with my uh, career. Like I completed my graduation in 2016 as a BSc guy. Like we could have heard that BSc people will be working in some production houses or any uh, uh, land areas and all. Like not into the IT sectors. Okay. But even I was into the same assumption until uh, when I seen the opportunities in IT sector. So the 2016 was the first moment where I opened and see the world like when I got placed with the PCS in off campus. So after that I never turned back and see what was happening with the BSc guys because I've been seeing my juniors also joining as a PhD graduates. So mm-hmm. that's the moment I started into IT sector. Mm-hmm. So coming to my career sector like uh, with the PCS I got opportunity to to work as a manual tester because they hired me as a BSc graduate. So when i asked for some coding projects also they were said like uh, bsc people like uh, we are planning only this testing project so if you are good with this after 2 years if you get a promotion so we can give you the project which you are looking for if you fit for that so mm-hmm. then i was completely upset with that particular decision so uh, i was started focusing on this on testing so what i can do better in testing so i heard that people were talking about sap at that moment like if you get a sap job like if you are working with sap projects your life will set you don't need to think about job security you don't need to think about like what is your uh, like a future mm-hmm. so i was like that was uh, really interesting me so that moment i asked one of my manager like i want to work for sap uh, so he said like with your experience and you don't have any knowledge with sap so we cannot give you into implementation so but i i'll try i'll try to train as a tester for two years later if you are good with that so i'll give you implementation or supporting projects Mm-hmm. so when i started testing projects uh, seriously i was not getting anything what sap is doing like i was good with the web application testing like i know w- what i am doing and what is output from there but this sap is completely product like uh, i don't know a to z in this one so i am not able to operate this one it it uh, literally uh, took 6 months to understand what screen and how the screen navigation is happening in the sap so after that uh, i i started taking some uh, internal kt sessions from my senior colleagues so they started explaining me this is what the procurement means so i came from a bsc graduate all this terminology is new and like 
I, I'm not able to even uh, get the correct meaning of this one. What is procurement? Procurement means like I, I go buy something, but what SAP is doing this much things for a procurement. <laughs> so that moment mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I started looking out for a trainings. Uh, uh, so where I can get a uh, full pledge, what is SAP? What is s Like people were talking about that moment, the future, if you want to continue with SAP, so go for s like upgrade yourself. But uh, literally I didn't get any uh, correct path to upgrade myself. Here and there I got some. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos some blogs were reading it what is S4HANA? everything was a definition mode and literally i was not getting even if i'm understanding also i was not able to explain to the third person what i heard and what i understood that was my uh, level at the moment so i started taking udemy trainings and some in, like uh, internal uh, from a company i started taking trainings i started giving internal assessments i was quite good at that and i was interested too so i didn't leave that uh, uh, chance so i started digging more into that one so later on like uh, when this covid started i literally was searching for the right person like i start asked my, all my senior colleagues like i want to get trying with espohana could you please help but unfortunately all the colleagues were busy with their project works and where this work from home started everybody was working 10 plus hours so they didn't get time to explain me what the things are happening they all saying like just go with yourself like go with the blogs or take sap uh, certified training which is a bit expensive, but you can go for it. So they will explain here and there. If you get any doubt, so we'll give you the clarity what is happening. But I'm not really good with the basics. What is the project? What is implementation project? Or what the things will be happening in the project? If they're giving me project also, I may not able to do uh, like uh, satisfy the task which they are giving me. So mm -hmm. uh, luckily, I found you, sir, sir. Like you gave me real wonderful wing to me, so which I can fly very high. Thank you so much for that. So uh, when I started this training, like I, I saw the curriculum. So this is what I want. Like I want to know what supporting people are doing. When I talk, like as I am a tester, when I talk to supporting people, they said like, oh no, man, I got a high uh, ticket. So I need to go and fix it. Literally, I don't know what is high ticket. Like what they're going to do magic with that with one day. Mm -hmm. So even pro uh, implementation guys will say like, oh no, we have a release. So we need to work on day and night. Like we work last three night nights in the office. As I'm a tester, I'll go in on time and I'll be coming back on time. Like I never extended my time. Like if they need something important, okay, I'll test it tomorrow. Like keep it with you. That's where I was working. But I literally want to understand what implementation things are happening, supporting things are happening. That's where this job and mastery helped me a lot, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for the great curriculum, sir. Thank you. Thank you for going through it. You know, I have put it the uh, curriculum, but uh, not everyone go into that deep and in that uh, uh, depth and do all the assignments which has been given. Uh, I was uh, working with uh, Aman and then we were looking for the assignments which has been submitted and I have gone through the assignments which you have completed and created the documentation. So it looks from seeing this assignment itself, I can see that you have gone into the deep, you have tried your hands on on the system. And I think that's the thing which really helped you. But I would really want to ask you, you know, that a lot of people come to me, they are from the BSc background, they are from the BCom background, they are from the BA background, they come and ask me that whether uh, they can do the, they can become SAP consultant. And a lot of people when I interact with even the, they don't know that these kind of tracks, these kind of SAP jobs are available, which they can actually go ahead and they can do much, much better than the orthodox jobs they are doing it after doing BSc and BCom. So now you can be a role model for them and you can you can suggest that if a BSc or BCom guy, if he need to become a SAP consultant, what kind of things he should do it? Truly, sir, thank you so much again. Uh, at that moment, when I passed out from 2016, like from colleges also, we have very limited uh, uh, coverage with uh, regarding the computers or softwares. We won't go deep into that as a uh, BTEC or B guys will go. So that's our uh, assumption for all uh, BSc graduates. Like uh, we are not suited for uh, IT sector because we don't know anything from our college. So that that's a case. Even, uh, even I was into that assumption, but later on I realized like uh, there is a, a, a great opportunities for us even. 
like no no need to be with good with always coding or some other specializations so we can get start with the one movement like then we can see what is happening right over there so we can uh, uh, try to get what is happening in the like current market and the currently we are seeing the sap is like having a very good uh, boom like uh, no need to be like not only the bsc graduates i see in the couple of from came from like my friends also i suggested one guy was working as a hotel management like he was taking good salary but just seeing me like um, when looking like this like he started his like he switched to uh, sap career and like he is working as a tester now my, like with my referral he is working into my uh, previous project so that was really good thing even uh, one of my junior also like he, he just asked me like he can't offer for a training so uh, even i am giving him like a lot, when i was in pcs i was giving the practice like whatever i got some materials and all so mm-hmm. uh, when we are coming out from a college like at that moment 2016 we don't have much opportunities sir but currently like everything is online so when we go college also you just take what you are good with like you are good with the computer coding so go for coding things but if you are not good in the good in the sense like we don't have that much experience or vision what uh, what we can do with this but now we have a t- trainings i will give a five star rating with uh, your uh, sastra geek sir so bit they can choose blindly the sastra geek and for sure sir they, they won't uh, like uh, they won't regret that why they have spent this much money or this much time so for sure they will get success that is like a one point i can say with sastra geek sir so like sastra geek they must utilize the chance like in, like uh, if i become a software from a bsc degree so it is not like a one step uh, i become like i still need to uh, but, uh, i need to study i need to learn things more that's where i can stand here else i again i will be in the same position which nobody will consider me don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos that's that's very good you have put it a lot of efforts and you are, you have now created a platform for from for yourself and i see that you will be jumping higher 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 from that platform so we have all the wishes with you so i would be quickly asking couple Thank of more so questions uh, uh, on uh, on your uh, interviews part so you are the one who uh, attended i think around nine interviews and all of the interviews you was able to reach till the uh, last uh, uh, round and you have even got the offer from the five companies so what specific thing you have prepared on which actually helped you answering all the interview questions and uh, clearing uh, most of the interviews which you have given uh yes sir so truly i can say like uh, before coming to sastra geek i have the basic understanding what is sap is doing because i've been five plus years into the testing project so i have seen a multiple clients and i have taken a multiple trainings from internal or like a euromi portal kind of things but what people were expecting before that also i have given interview sir what interviewers are expecting from us is like they want to know what i uh, what is a business process i which i understood that the one uh, thing i like um, more from the sastra geek so here we are not talking about the transaction code and we are not talking about the input data and get the output so we are explaining each and every step what is a business process and wh- why uh, we need this step, like uh, why is subcontracting process to be used in the industries or like where they are using if i know that particular thing like what business is doing with particular activities so i will be more comfortable to talk about that one so it's a secondary thing like to explain the uh, accounting entries or like, explaining how the accounts have been picked up it's a secondary thing every like uh, what is happening inside the system like if we are being uh, investing some time on that like we can understand but the first thing is like we need to understand what the business is expecting from sap so that we made clear here that's what the one point i was keeping in mind always so whenever the i'm getting the job description like a uh, winter visa schedule so i'll go with the job description sir even this point also made uh, like highlighted in our job on mastery so we need to go through the job uh, description because that's way we are comfortable with that one so that's a 50% chance we can clear the interview without taking that interview because we are confident that we know all these topics like we have worked and we know what is the process with this particular areas so job description is the second thing so what i consider always and the third thing is like the revision sir i uh, like you are showing the handbook so i even i made my own handbook like in the paper mm-hmm. so that helped me like when i'm going for a interview so i will be just giving you 30 minutes revision for that so i will just uh, not with a description level so what is a step by step process i want to see so that is a third thing these three things i was keeping in mind when i was going for interviews so that gave me really success because I, 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Three things which Muni highlighted is having a very clear concept on the business processes. That what is the business processes? Why we are doing it? It's not important that what transaction codes has been used to do it. Some interviewers would be asking that question also. You should know it. But the key things you would be able to speak confidently if you understand that why this process has been done. What is the basic background? Why business is adopting to that process? Thanks. Second thing is that uh, preparing your own notes, preparing your own notes and uh, working on it. In Job and Master, we have specifically uh, given some guidance at which tools you can use it, make manual notes or use Microsoft Note and make your own notes. That's very important. You would be able to grasp the knowledge before the interview in 15 to 20 minutes, all the processes with your notes would be quickly uh, clarified. Even I also give giving the uh mind maps which can help the people but i always prefer that even before my mind map if you can create your own mind map when you will be creating it everything will straight away go in your mind and then there's five seconds you would be able to regain that what you have done that that's good and uh, third thing which has been highlighted is the job description very important what is the job description read through it even i also recommend people to do the changes in the cv based on the job description that will help you to get more interview calls. So you you nailed it, uh, Muni. Thanks, Very well said. So uh, Muni, it was great to know about you and your journey and, you know, especially the people who are from the BSc, BCom, BA backgrounds. It would be a great inspiration when they would be listening to this talk. So I, I really thank you for uh, separating your time out and joining this call here and sharing your experiences. Thank you. Thank you for appearing in the Job Hunt Mastery. And uh, thank you also for coming for uh, Game of High Flyers. Thank you so much for the opportunity, sir. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Thank you. For so everyone who are listening to us, thank you for joining us in this episode. We would be coming back with a new success story in the next episode. Goodbye till then.